he lives outside of time and calls you there Holy that's what Ghost you know of God in the earth today Holy Ghost your God in the earth today. we've been given certain messages here one obviously is Holy Ghost worship therefore we have to do what we do and if we do it more will be given so if I worship the Holy Ghost I do what I've been given more will be given besides that well that's not the only message I mean we know about healing and atonement we know prosperity that God prospers us there's a lot of things that we have that a lot of people haven't been given we believe that that we're baptized in the Holy Ghost begin to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gives us utterance should we be good at that should we get better at it yes. yeah we should be better at speaking in tongues than maybe the neighbor and we have to do it if we're going to progress and be what we're called to be I'm often fascinated because you know we're online so people will write comments you know and I'll put messages up there about speaking in tongues and what to do and what it means and all this other stuff people think it's their business to come and try to talk me out of it and tell me that tongues has passed away people don't speak in tongues anymore and I'm like I'm speaking in tongues right now I feel bad for them because they're missing out mm -hmm. anyway but we've been given certain messages here and one message this is one youth renewal mm -hmm. it's something and you can scour the internet you can scour the faith cir faith circles and it doesn't exist mm -hmm. I'll hear a lot of me people talking about longevity and living a long life but that's not the same as youth renewal youth renewal is a power of God available to us to walk in that actually renews your youth it's what God did to Sarah right. and Abraham renewed their youth he didn't just make them live a long time he actually did something to them and quickened say quickened quickened, quickened or made alive their physical body right. it is a message that we have here and frankly we need to get serious about it say get serious about it see because none of the things of God come to you if you're not serious about it you got to be serious about it you're like ah, it's casual maybe maybe it'll happen maybe it won't no it won't I'm telling you right now if you don't get serious about it it's not gonna happen is age serious about you getting older yeah. it's pretty serious every day it's coming to you to give you more you at least need to be that serious about it that every day you're claiming the promises of God are you here but you need to get serious about youth renewal getting serious about youth renewal it is a message that we you have been given that other people haven't I've had people notify me online they're like I've never heard this before thank you and I think that's one of the things that God is able to do with us here is I'm able to say things that other people can't say and I do mm -hmm. youth renewal is a message that we have been, gi have been given and if you're not serious about it you won't have it I've preached on it I even brought some CDs look at that this is just a, one of the one of the most new ones that's online youth renewal and the substance of everlasting life right here you can have that one the youth renewal and the substance of everlasting life I preached six messages on youth renewed uh, youth renewal and youth renewed not very long ago six messages mm -hmm. six times I took this time and preached all of these are available online preached on youth renewal youth renewal and your brain why is that is your brain part of your body then it applies to being renewed the youth renewed are you here mm -hmm. another one another three messages on youth renewal to heal your body why is that because certain sicknesses come on people that have nothing to do with sickness it has everything to do with age and when you renew the youth the sickness goes away so if I preach these many messages and get this revelation from God what would that make that that would be something we've been given that other people have that we need to be serious about it say I'm serious, I'm serious. about my youth about my being renewed being oh I hope you don't mind I'm gonna preach on it again yeah. it is a doctrine of the society called youth renewal it's in the atonement I'm gonna share this stuff with you today it's a doctrine it's in the atonement and you need to get serious about the doctrine should you be serious about doctrine mm -hmm. doctrine itself sounds like a serious word doesn't it mm -hmm. but when you preach and things become doctrine after you've covered it from all these different angles and I've shown you this time after time that youth renewal is a doctrine and I'm telling you you won't fulfill the high call of God without it whatever you're called to do 
listen you're not gonna fulfill that call that high call yeah you fulfill the low call the low call is you dying and going to heaven could you set a lower standard but the high call of God and I hope you're here the high call of God you won't fulfill it unless you have youth renewal working in you is that serious that sounds pretty serious if you want to fulfill the call of God you must have it job 33 verse 24 then he is gracious unto him and saith deliver him from going down to the pit I have found a ransom is that in your Bible yes. now the word ransom in many translations will say atonement over in this center column does yours say that yes. yeah it says atonement say atonement. atonement now is atonement part of your doctrine mm -hmm. yeah it should be I know a lot of people would argue that that healing isn't in the atonement I'm like go argue with someone else because I know that it is I'm a believer I don't know what you are you're you're a disbeliever in healing in the atonement I guess is atonement doctrine yes who paid for our atonement Jesus it's I mean all through the Bible Jesus paid the price with his blood that's atonement for you for your sins for your sicknesses and frankly everything that you need including heaven if he didn't pay for you to go to heaven and pay for the whole ticket of heaven then you couldn't go there that's the atonement guess what's functioning in heaven real big youth renewal they stay fairly young there what's what is the earnest of our inheritance on this side youth renewal quickening of your mortal body anyway many messages on that but I want you to see that youth renewal is doctrine and there it says I have found an atonement his flesh shall be fresher than a child's and shall return say return, return. to the days of his youth he's saying what the atonement will do is this in your Bible yes. the atonement will make your flesh fresher than a child's and will return it to the days of its youth what is that but setting the clock back that's youth renewal right mm -hmm. yes say so youth, youth renewal is in the atonement in the atonement. see say see see. see see it's right there youth renewal is in the atonement bring this into the New Testament I could take you to a whole bunch of scriptures on the atonement how healing is in the atonement we, it's really not that we have time for that today I'm trying to get across a specific set of scriptures and get serious about youth renewal mm -hmm. Matthew chapter 8 and uh, looks at verse 16 when the evening was come they brought unto him many that were possessed with devils and he cast out the spirits with his word and say and and, and healed all that were sick now this is a whole crowd coming to Jesus and the Bible says he healed all say all all, all that were sick now you have to ask yourself were there some maybe elderly people in the crowd mm -hmm. were there sicknesses that came about by old age yes. mm -hmm. if there were then he healed all that were sick yep. you think anybody had joint problems in those days mm -hmm. how about heart problems how about arthritis I can show you scriptures where this happened when does arthritis come on someone mm -hmm. in their older years joint problems heart problems ear problems eye problems all age-related problems well there had to be people it didn't say there was a crowd of young people that came he said and he healed all that were sick verse 17 are you still here mm -hmm. that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet saying himself took our infirmities and bare our sicknesses what is this verse of scripture referring to the atonement mm -hmm. so the healing of all sickness and disease has to be in the atonement and if he healed anyone that had problems that come on by old age they were covered in the atonement remember flesh fresher than a child's returned to the days of its youth Are you getting any of this is this doctrine do you need to be serious about it yeah God's method for healing is to remove the cause 
if it happened to be a sin caused sickness sin no more or less the worst thing right he removes the sin and the sickness leave if it happened to be uh, a spirit related illness remember spirit of infirmity woman had a spirit of infirmity and couldn't know wise right couldn't be healed what did Jesus do got rid of the spirit of infirmity the sickness left God's method is to get rid of the cause if listen if there is an age related illness what's God's method did he change his method no it's the same method he renews the youth mm -hmm. and then the sickness goes away or the illness the age related illness the answer for an age caused illness is to remove the age problem by renewing the youth it's God's method it's included in the atonement say I'm getting serious Serious. about youth renewal, about youth renewal. you got to be serious about it it's not just gonna come on you and fall on you like any of the promises of God they don't you have to get serious about it you have to claim them you have to believe for them Psalms 191 let's look at verse 16 with long life will I satisfy him and show him my what my salvation salvation we know is in the atonement yep. no one would disagree with that how do we get any of our salvation it's through the atonement mm -hmm. and here God in his Bible is attaching long living and satisfied to salvation and the atonement we have more things that are given to us by the atonement Psalms 103 verse 1 who forgives all thine iniquities would that be in the atonement yes, yes forgiveness of sin who heals all thy diseases is that in the atonement yes how about redeeming your life from destructions yes crowns you with loving kindness tender mercies satisfies your mouth with good things so that your youth is renewed I've already proven it's in the atonement but here it is again do people forget that yeah they forget most of them the only one they remember is he forgave their sin sort of and hopefully they'll die and go to heaven look at uh, Psalms 90 and verse 10 the days of our years are three score and ten that's 70 and if by reason of strength and you can put in their natural strength not God's strength you understand just somebody that's maybe just as a strong has a strong constitution okay. by reason of strength they be four score years that's 80 mm -hmm. yet is the strength of our labor and sorrow for it is soon cut off and we fly away now people would argue that this verse why they would argue on this side of anything I don't know they argue that no the Bible says you're only supposed to live 70 or 80 years and then you're supposed to die and fly away what little they don't understand is if you look up at the top of this this says it's a prayer of Moses the man of God did your Bible say that mm -hmm. it says a prayer of Moses this is Moses's prayer this was specifically to the children of Israel who are condemned to die in the wilderness and so anyone over 70 years of age was on their last trip around Mount Sinai it's not to you or to me in fact let's go to Deuteronomy 34 remember that was a prayer of Moses and let's look here at Moses himself it couldn't have been applied to Moses he began his mission at 80 Deuteronomy 34 verse 7 and Moses was an hundred and twenty years old when he died his eye was not dim nor his natural force abated two things specifically said that are age related and everybody knows it the eye being dim or the natural force abated abated it wasn't fresh anymore it was kind of old but that wasn't Moses why would that not be Moses at 120 because he walked in youth renewal so Moses himself said this thing about being 70 or 80 years old and it you would think it would have applied to him but it didn't apply to him it was applying to those people the Israelites in the wilderness are you here so if anybody tries to argue that you've got scripture Genesis chapter 6 and verse 3 and the Lord said my spirit shall not always strive with man for he's also flesh yet his days shall be a hundred and twenty years how old was Moses 120. was his natural force abated were his eyes dim no. did he have the effects of age no hundred and twenty years Amen. it's included in the atonement it's what we're believing for 
well here we see that from 80 to 120 those are God's years God likes those years God has something to do with those years those years are important to him it's God's territory are you seeing this I'm hoping I can get this across that's the territory of youth renewal now I'm gonna say these words I hesitate to say them because even when I was writing them down God sent them to me I said oh I like that but you know people aren't gonna understand it whatever I hope you do it says he lives outside of time and is calling you there that's what youth renewal is he lives outside of time and calls you there that's what youth renewal is do you get that if he renews your youth what is he doing he's quickening your body outside of time back in time flesh fresher than a child's renewed returned to the days of your youth listen it's not how you start that's important it's how you finish Your God.